The snow depth at Snoqualmie Pass keeps increasing. We're now at almost two meters, almost to the point where WashDOT needs to consider avalanche control at a few locations above I-90. Across the road from where Seattle learned to ski is where WashDOT learns to see. Signs the snowpack at Snoqualmie Pass could weaken, releasing an avalanche onto I-90. We have three main avalanche areas west of Snoqualmie Pass, one on Denny Mountain, one on Granite Mountain, okay. and the other that is just over the hill there from, from the Summit West ski area. Back in the winter of 1998-99, there was so much snow, it came to the top of this 15-foot tower. This is where a windshield protects a precipitation gauge for accurate measurements. Predicting the size of a possible avalanche can determine if it would run onto the roadway or stop short. In the next couple of weeks, our likelihood of doing avalanche control increases, okay. particularly with new snow. That control temporarily shutting down I-90 to detonate explosives to trigger the avalanche on our schedule, not Mother Nature's.